Schrodinger's cat thought experiment doesn't mention one very important point. If you're using a mechanism that relies on quantum uncertainty to either kill or not kill a cat in a closed box, the cat will both be dead and alive at the same time, at least until you look. If you have a quantum system where a quantum event can play out in two ways, the particle will literally be in both states at the same time until something interacts with the particle to check it. However, this experiment wouldn't work in reality. On our scale, the universe is like a sandstorm, but instead of sand, it's teeny tiny particles. The box Schrodinger's cat is in is in this bath of particles as well. So information about the cat is still getting in and out of the box. At no point was it in a alive dead quantum superposition. As things get smaller, more and more time passes between events where a particle hits or interacts with us. So the reason why Schrodinger's thought experiment wouldn't work is because a cat is just too big to not interact with something, unless of course you had a magical black box that could separate the inside from the outside of the box completely.